You can tell from the thumbnail of the video I did get all A's this semester, which I am very, very happy about. And then I started thinking about it, then I became sad again. What is up everyone? It is Rachel and today we are back with a new video. Basically in this video I'm going to be talking about my 2019 spring semester grades, so my spring semester of junior year. Not really going to be reacting to my grades because I tried filming that last semester after fall semester and it just left me really really disappointed so roll those clips. Yeah, I don't know the class wasn't that hard so necessarily like a B isn't bad but like it sort of is. <laughs> it's uh, it's a C plus, so that's good. I'm happy with that. Because honestly, I was sort of afraid that it'd be lower than that because the third exam I did not do really hot on. And so, and yeah, basically I filmed that video and I was like, okay, I think I'm getting A's and B pluses. It'll be a cool video at the end of fall. And then I ended up getting like B's and then a C plus, And I'm like, oh my God. And then I was just really, really sad and disappointed in myself because because I really really thought that I had higher grades than that and so basically I've already looked at my grades for this semester I'm just going to be talking about my semester the grades everything like that and then sort of talking more about Berkeley grading because I think I get a lot of questions on tours about like grade deflation and stuff like that so I just wanted to talk about my experience with the whole GPA grade deflation thing at Berkeley and why I'm still disappointed in myself <laughs> So basically, if you're new here, I am a junior at UC Berkeley, so just finished junior year going into my fourth and final year of college for undergrad, which is very, very exciting and also very scary for next year. I am double majoring in cognitive science and legal studies. Sometimes people are like, what is cognitive science? I usually explain it as a very interdisciplinary major, so we have to take psychology classes, math classes, computer science classes, like linguistics classes. So it is really really interesting sort of like neuroscience or like how the brain works computationally and then legal studies it's like the study of law I just declared cognitive science after my sophomore year so the summer after sophomore year so basically one year ago today and then I just declared legal studies in the fall semester of my junior year this semester I took five courses so that's 20 units and that's typically more units than a student takes here at Berkeley for a typical semester students usually take like four classes so that can range anywhere from like 13 to 16 units if you take four four unit courses so four times four is 16 and that's how you get 16 units so I was taking five courses so 20 units so more than the average person takes I was also working three jobs this semester with that you can really say like okay I like don't have a lot of free time with this semester I'm really proud of myself you can tell from the thumbnail of the video it wasn't clickbait although the reacting to the grades part is sort of clickbait. I'm more like analyzing my grades. You can tell from the thumbnail of the video I did get all A's this semester, which I am very, very happy about. And then I started thinking about it, then I became sad again. Before I became sad, I was happy about it because this is actually the first time in my six semesters here at Berkeley that I have ever gotten all A's. And it's not even straight A's because the Berkeley like GPA, an A and an A plus is a 4.0 GPA an A minus which is like a 90 to a 93 percent is a 3.7 GPA and then B plus is like a 87 to 90 that is 3.3 B is like 84 to 86 that's a 3.0 GPA and then B minus is like 80 to 83 kind of thing that is 2.7 and then C plus is one below that yeah five classes I got four A's and then one A minus in Honestly, I'm sort of pissed off about that A minus because I'm like, wow. A lot of times, so like last semester when I was doing my reacting video, like you really don't know your grades until the end of the semester. And I'm like, oh, I'm thinking I'm getting A's and B pluses. And I'm like, no, you're getting B's and a C plus. Like, 
F that GPA kind of thing. When classes are curved, like yes, they can tell you that like, oh, this percent to that percent is going to be curved to an A or whatever, but they really don't know until the whole class is done with the final and then that's when they start computing the curve for the class. And so I'm like, I don't even know how I scored that low. Like, yes, I'm happy with my grades this semester. I worked my butt off and this was the first time, like I said, that I've ever gotten all A's. Usually I'm like not scoring that high on anything. So I'm like, wow, okay. Okay. Like a lot of people I feel like don't talk about their grades. I feel like GPA is such a taboo topic Like you don't ask your friends if you're taking a class with your friends what your friend got in the class kind of thing So like you really don't know how other people are faring how other people's GPAs are I feel like I'm struggling with my below a 3.5 GPA But I really don't know if other people are struggling as well because no one talks about it I'm happy that I literally brought my GPA up like point too. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Then I'm thinking about it and I'm like, okay, if I want to go to law school, law school GPAs are like freaking high as balls. And I'm like, I'm out here trying to double major, work three jobs, take an insane amount of units. I went into Berkeley as a political science intended major. And I'm like, okay, those poli sci classes that I've taken, I got like A's and A minuses in them. So I'm like, okay, my GPA literally could have been so high. Wanting to challenge myself, I'm like, okay, cognitive science having to take upper division like computer science and math courses which for me honestly is not my forte for some people like coding geniuses they're great those classes are bringing my GPA way down and then I'm like oh my god <laughs> did I just screw myself over with this my GPA right now I believe is the highest that it's been since fall semester of sophomore year <laughs> which is really whack I don't know how to feel I'm happy with my grades I'm happy that like the hard work has finally paid off in some aspects Aspect because I feel like I work similarly hard every semester. Yeah, so a lot of times on tours, people ask me about the grade deflation at Berkeley, which I think is so interesting. Like, where did this stereotype sort of rumor happen? What I usually say on tours is that college has made me work way, way, way harder than I ever had to do in high school. Like, yes, high school, you might have to study, but you can sort of honestly breeze by. Like, I got A's in my AB calculus and BC calculus in high school, and then I come to college and I'm getting a C plus in discrete math. But yeah, definitely everyone at Berkeley is so 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 intelligent that you have to work like so much more in order to for me I feel like honestly be on the same level as some other people some people are just naturally really intelligent I just feel like in college I've had to work so much harder and then like seeing those grades last semester it is really discouraging that like you work so hard for grades that are way lower than I've ever experienced in high school everyone there is coming from a high achieving high school background to go to college to become an average college student really really discouraging at first and I think I'm still like working through that whole like haha I'm getting like not good grades after getting literally straight A's in high school and I think that's something that like you will have to learn how to deal with or like work through if you come to Berkeley or like any college in general I feel like one time that I've experienced grade deflation the one class freshman year fall semester too many people got A's or like the highest grades in the class that they had to bump people down. So I literally had a 92% in the class. And so 92 would be considered an A minus, a 3.7 GPA, but my 92 got bumped down to a B plus. So then I got like a 3.3 GPA in that class. And then my friend who had like a 90, which would be considered an A minus also. So both of us were in the A minus range. He got bumped down to a flat B. And I'm like, oh my God, that's literally from a 3.3 7 to a 3.0 GPA, a 2% difference in the class from a 90% to a 92, 93%. But then everyone else got curved down because too many people were scoring the high grades in the class. And I'm like, in what freaking world is a 90% a 3.0 GPA? Like, please show me where because that is just freaking astounding. I don't know. I just really wanted to sit down and film this video because I think it's something that does need to be talked about more. I feel like people don't talk about their grades, their GPA, unless it's like good, like all A's, hee hee hoo hoo. So yeah, this is me talking about GPA grades kind of stuff at Berkeley. Let me know if you have any questions or anything else you'd want me to talk about in a video down below. But yes, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Make sure you like and then subscribe and then I will 
will see you all next Monday for a brand new video. And so, yeah, bye!